Hello students, welcome to maths class. In chapter fractions, we have already done types of fractions, conversions, simplest form, equivalent fractions, comparison of fractions, addition of fractions, subtraction of fractions. Today we will discuss multiplication of fractions. Now multiplication of fractions are of two types. Type 1 multiplication of fraction by a whole number type 2 multiplication of fraction by fraction today we will discuss type 1 where we will learn how to multiply fraction by a whole number now as we know multiplication means repeated addition so here if i will ask you to multiply by 3 you will answer 6 3 times 4 Answer is 12. 5 times 2. Here answer will come 10. Here we are multiplying whole number by a whole number. We will apply same fundamentals for the fractions. Here we are having some steps which we have to follow. Step 1. Change whole number into fraction. As we know if I will write 1 as the denominator whole number will change into fraction step 2 up down and cross cutting and last step is numerator multiply by numerator and denominator multiply by denominator let's understand with examples here we have to find the product of 2 upon 3 and 4 product means multiply so here we have to multiply 2 upon 3 and 4 as you can see 2 upon 3 is a fraction and 4 is a whole number. Step 1 change whole number as fraction. So here if I will write 1 as the denominator 4 will change into fraction. So what will I write 2 upon 3 multiply 4 upon 1. Now step 2 cutting up down and cross. Now here 2 and 3 cutting is not possible. We will not check cutting by 1. Now 4 and 3 again cutting is not possible. And 4 and 1 we will not check cutting by 1. So cutting is not possible here. Then we will apply step 3. Step 3 is numerator multiply by numerator, denominator multiply by denominator. So what will come? 2 multiply by 4 upon 3 multiply by 1. As you know, 2 4s are 8, 3 1s are 3. So here it will come 8 upon 3. As numerator is bigger than denominator, therefore it is an improper fraction. So we will change it into mixed fraction. Now divide 8 by 3. Here 3 2s are 6 minus 8. 2. Start from the quotient. Here answer will come 2 whole number 2 upon 3 which is a mixed fraction. Now let's see second example. Here we have to multiply 7 upon 5 by 10. Again we are multiplying fraction by a whole number. So step 1 change whole number as fraction. So it will come 7 upon 5 multiply 10 upon 1. Step 2. Up, down and cross cutting. Here cutting of 7 and 5 is not possible. And we will not check by 1. But see cutting of 5 and 10 is possible. So we will cut 5 and 10. It will come 5 1s are 5, 5 2s are 10. Now step 3. Multiply numerator by numerator and denominator by denominator. So here it will come 7 multiply 2 upon 1 multiply by 1. 7 2s are 14. It will come 14 upon 1. If denominator will come 1 then number will remain same. So here answer is 14. Let's see one more example. Here we have to multiply 2 whole number 2 upon 3 by 9. 2 whole number 2 upon 3 is a 
mixed fraction and 9 is a whole number. Before multiplying, we have to change mixed fraction into improper fraction and whole number into a fraction. So let's see how to change it. Here 3 multiply 2 plus 2 it will come 3 multiply 2 plus 2 upon 3. 3 2 is a 6. 6 plus 2 upon 3 will come 8 upon 3. On the other hand 9 will change into fraction if I will write denominator as 1. So here it will come 9 upon 1. Now at the place of 2 whole number 2 upon 3 I will write 8 upon 3 and whole number I will write as 9 upon 1. Now step 2 cutting here 8 and 3 cutting is not possible. Now see 3 and 9 cutting is possible. Here it will come 3 1s are 3, 3 3 is a 9 and as we know we will not check cutting by 1. So what will come here? 8 multiply by 3 upon 1 multiply by 1. Now as you know 8 3 is a 24. So here it will come 24 upon 1 and answer is 24. Now let's see one more concept. Here as we have done earlier if we will multiply 0 by any number answer will always come 0. If I will multiply 3 by 0 answer is 0. 8 by 0 answer is 0. Here we are multiplying whole number by 0 and answer is coming 0 every time. Same fundamentals we will apply on the fractions. Here if I will multiply 2 upon 3 by 0 again answer will come 0 and if I will multiply 2 whole number 3 upon 4 by 0 answer will come 0. So students today we have learned how to multiply fraction by a whole number. Also I hope you are able to do the worksheet which is given in your snap homework. But before that must go through the YouTube links that are already mentioned in your snap homework. Thank you. Have a nice day.